thanks for those, Martin. And I'll pick up and start with the Stanley Grade 1 Juvenile Hurdle over two miles and a furlong, a small field of nine. Let's see if Poncho Ice Cube can be a disaster again. So Devon Dumplin for Hollywood Grey. Hollywood Grey, Hollywood Hinton, Poncho Ice Cube for Stu Grey, League Regal Mount for Martin Leadham, Treble Spark for David Robertson, Martin Leadham's Corsican's Pride, Darren Thompson's Geo Trabani, Leon Varensberg's Flirting Around, Padrick Hogan's Kobayashi Maru, and Polar Link the Triumph, and the Punchestown winner. Is number nine. We'll look to follow up here as the starter gets them away. Racing. It's two miles and a furlong. These four year old juveniles straight into the first, which they all clear. And it's flirting around, it just leads them into the second. These two come quite fast. There's another one to join us here, or maybe not. It's a turn that left. But it's a reluctant regal mount that leads us at the moment. It settles now as they take this left turn. To it. So Regal Mount's going to take us along from flirting around just behind her, also alongside the running route. That line of horses, Poncho Ice keeps up against the rail with already nowhere to run. And we've got Kobayashi Maru, Devon Dumpling, and Duo Trapani as they go over the third. And the wider still is Corkston's Pride, the widest of all. Inside of that is Treble Spark. Poncho Ice Cream bouncing around at the back trying to find a bit of racing room. See flirting around, and sorry, Polar Link is the only other one I hadn't mentioned. So up front is the two Martin Leadham horses, but it looks like a bit of a mess for the pace here. It's Regal Mount, the grey that leads us down to the fifth. Go okay, past the winning post, the full circuit to go. So Regal Mount's going to be the first to the next. From Corston's pride, his stable mate is just about five, six wide. Hard to determine on the Oi Toy course. It all goes a little, it's a bit of a switchback. But it's Regal Mount that leads them. From Devon Dumplin that's moved into second. Polar Lincoln Corston's Pride and together up against the running row is flirting around with Kobayashi Maru and Poncho Ice Cube making a little bit of a ground move there as they get over the six. Then we've got Geo Trapani, Corston's Pride and Treble Spark. They're just now three back markers. So Regal Mount leads from Poncho Ice Cube. Then we've got Kobayashi Maru and Polar Link up against the rallies, Devon Dumpling and flirting around. And just the trio at the back, Joe Trapani, Treble Spark and Corston's Pride. So Regal Mount still leads us. They're inside the final mile now from Poncho Ice Cube, Polar Link flirting around and Kobayashi Maru. So they go over the seventh. Come down to the next. This is where the two fences come rather quick. Maybe not. Must be the next two. But it's Regal Mount that leads from Poncho Ice Cube that's drawing alongside now. And decides to try and take it up with Polar Link for company. Flirting around, making a move. Oh, and Polar Poncho Ice Cube just went straight through the top of it. What's the point? Anyway, Regal Mount from Polar Link. Kobayashi Maru. Which must be one of the Sea Shepherd horses. All oh, a bit of a mistake there by flirting around. And there's the two jumps that are over the 11th. So we're just two to take now. It's Regal Mount from Polar Link. Kobayashi Maru. Dura Trapani's made up some really good ground and starting to fight for other positions. Then you've got Poncho Ice Cube out a little bit wider, he's flirting around. Devon Dumplin and Treble Spark and Corsten's Pride have got a bit to do, but the leader still is this Regal Mount, only been headed shortly. We're inside the final three, Drio Trapani under a lot of pressure now. Poncho Ice Cube trying to get back into it. Polar Links up against the running row. Then Kobayashi Maru and flirting around as they go over the 12th. That's the penultimate we just wanted to take. And it's Duo Trapani that takes on this Regal Mount now inside the final fan of the half. Poncho Ice Cube running on. Polar Link, Kobayashi Maru and flirting around. They all go over the 13th. And it's this Joe Trapani with a furlong left to run. Poncho Ice Cube's got nothing left. He can only run two miles. Kobayashi Maru's chasing him down as well as Polar Link. And it's these three. And it looks like Kobayashi Maru on the line. Kobayashi Maru's going to take it from Joe Trapani and Polar Link. Well timed there. Not sure who was full flirting around, maybe. But a good win there for Kobayashi Maru. Is that not one of the whaling boats and sea shepherds? Anyway, I might be wrong from Polar Link. Unlucky didn't finish the season with a win in second, but a triumph win and a, a punches down festival was pretty good. George Punish Darren Thompson was third, flirting around for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth, and Devon Dumplin for Hollywood Hinton was fifth.